All right, I'm back reviewing Burger King spicy chicken sandwich. As you can see, there's already a bite taken out of it. I got hungry in the Popeyes line because they made me wait 15 minutes. Mmm. Come review this. Got, uh, I got coffee in my mouth. Taste this. It's so good. And you don't have to get the stupid mayonnaise sauce to get the spice. That There's is good. spice in this. This is fantastic. Mmm. Mm. is better than KFC. This is right up there with Popeyes. That is good. No joke. Burger yeah, King chicken sandwich might be where it's at. Mm -hmm. Um, bread's good, not dry. It's buttered. It's hot. It's spicy. spicy. <laughs> Next, we gotta try McDonald's chicken sandwich. Mmm, that's good. Eight out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. Mm -hmm. Mom, how extra are these earrings? I haven't worn these in three years. You know, the last time I wore these was 2018 Thanksgiving. Really? So I woke up this morning with something in the back of my throat and I was like, it was uncomfortable. It was like in one of my tonsils. It reminded me of what I was doing last night, eating M&Ms, okay? And there's peanuts inside these and the shell of the peanut was stuck behind my tonsil. So I was in the bathroom gagging and hawking and trying to get it off and one cough got it out and I was like, oh. What also had some tonsil stones this morning. This moment is for us and to my kids. It should just happen. Me and Barbie are currently debating on what to go eat. We can never make a decision. We finally decided what to eat. We're at Applebee's. We got some shrimp, classic combo, tacos that I'm not going to try because it has coleslaw on it. And I'm scared. Coleslaw cabbage. I'm scared. <laughs> Guess what this is? This must be my Humera. It only took two months, but we finally got it. Now time to inject. I don't even know if you're allowed to make videos on this stuff or not, but this is real life shit. Ugh. That's real life. Oh, oh, oh. I'm nervous about if there's going to be side effects and stuff because that last medication they put me on gave me chest pain and I felt like shit. I had crippling anxieties. It made me break out in rash all over my body. I was miserable for about two weeks. All right, check this out. Just did my first injection right by that freckle right there. I had mom do it because I was scared to death. I think I waited like 35 minutes to do it. I was like, she's like, are you ready yet? And I was like, mm, just a minute. Let me read this one more time. So I was just reading it over and over and over. And then she injected it and I didn't feel it. And then we were freaking out at the end because we were like, oh my God, where'd it go? Did it go in? Did it go somewhere else? Did it work? I didn't even feel it go in. This is me itching my <laughs> psoriasis on my back. Um, I feel like I can feel it in my hip. At first, when she got done injecting it, I felt it at the top of my foot, and now I feel it right here. It's weird. <sighs> There's no telling what it's gonna do. I hope it helps. By the end of the day, I hope I don't feel any pain. <laughs> it's the next day since I injected Humera, and I feel super bland today. Last night, my arm, my whole arm, hand and arm kept falling asleep going numb and it was all tingly and then I'd have to wake up, flip over and shake it out until it woke up and then my elbows would ache and ache. I'd go back to sleep and it happened again. We just got home from our first job. I made blueberry pancakes because that's what I wanted. Also broke out in a rash. Don't know if that's normal after taking medication. This is what happened after I took the last one that I tried. So, it's only the second day. We'll see in about a week. We just pulled up to a gas station because mom's getting five hour energy before work. And I looked to my left 
and I saw a green Jaguar, an emerald green Jaguar that Emily Gilmore drives on Gilmore Girls. I don't know if anyone else is a fan, but it reminded me of the show and I was like, damn, Richard died.